Case of NYU student Hafiza Khalik. Raise your hands. Hafiza. Hafiza is a first year undergraduate student at NYU. Back in the beginning of October, Hafiza was confronted by hundreds of Zionist propaganda posters that had been put up around the NYU campus. She was seeing the mass genocidal violence against the Palestinian people, and she knew what the purpose of those posters was, what type of manufactured consent they were intended to suggest, and so she tore them down. After that, it turns out that she was recorded by one of her fellow students. She was doxxed. She was harassed at mass scale. And then the administration of NYU informed her three weeks ago that she would be suspended. That she would lose her scholarship and that she would lose her right to off-campus housing. And do you know what the reason was that they gave? They told her that she had damaged university property and that she had contributed to hate on campus. We're going to hear now about a campaign, a popular defense committee that has been stood up to protect Hafiza and students like her. We've learned that dozens of NYU students are facing disciplinary proceedings because the university has made it their mission to end Palestine activism on campus and to break the backs of all those who seek to organize and to speak out about this fundamental injustice. And so I'd like to call up Hella from the NYU Graduate Students Union. NYU freshman Hafiza Khalik was bullied by a Zionist student who had filmed her tearing down posters. And NYU's predatory response to this incident should enrage us all and remind us that none of the students here today are safe at our universities as long as institutions like NYU get to set precedents of making up new rules as they go along, simply to target those of us who their racist Zionist donors dislike. Hafiza was told at her disciplinary hearing that suspension was not on the table. They then said verbatim that they were suspending her because of relevant university shareholders. And I myself am a graduate worker at NYU and I recently received a threatening and discriminatory email about a disciplinary hearing about what I got docs for over a month ago. Which was actually putting up posters over the remnants of previously ripped posters. And by the way, Hafiza was told, instead of ripping down posters, you can just put up your own. Which goes to show how they're making up rules just to fit into like whoever they feel like punishing. And conveniently, this disciplinary hearing was called for right after I had filed a grievance about discrimination against me as a Palestinian in the workplace. Which they obviously wanted to avoid dealing with. But we at the union and across student unions in the city are organizing and fighting back. What the Zionists are doing on our campuses is intended to be a distraction from the important work as now much of our time, attention, and resources have to go towards looking out for the safety of our comrades rather than focusing on the genocide happening in Palestine. Also, it is meant to terrorize and silence us. They have gone hysterical as they realize that they have lost. We are on the side of truth and justice and the people and the people are on our side. And we will not be silenced because nothing they can threaten us with can be as terrible or as shameful as witnessing the Zionist entities' atrocities and remaining silent.
The support Happy is Athletic, you can go to the link on We Are The Center's Instagram bio.
practice tactics of intimidation and terror imposed on Palestinians since the wicked formation of Israel are over. We can no longer continue in life self-doubting our capabilities. We can all make an impact. We are a people of resilience and perseverance. We must work together in unity to defend Palestine and all oppressed people. Take a minute to reflect what can I do? What can I leave, give to leave my mark on humanity? Do you show gratitude by giving your resources and attention to others in need? Or are you living a frivolous life with no substance? How will you be remembered in this world? If humanity were a tower of blocks, we would each be a piece that needs to stand firmly holding the others up. Rise up for humanity, find your inner strength, and demand justice for Palestine.
Yeah.